Welcome to the symbolic tale of the Turn 1 Beluga Sturgeon. An homage to Grounded Sap's Turn 1 Tier 2 series. Three opossums swiftly combined, a pleasing beluga sturgeon meets the eye. I love these videos, the Turn 1 Tier 2s. I've watched every Grounded Sap video, and I know what to do. You find me on Turn 1, build a squad around me, and I star as we roll to 10 wins, entertainingly. However, the sturgeon was in for a shock. He existed in this pack, purely for the muskox. A pill, a sell, valuable early stats, a noble sacrifice for a powerful strat. Now even if Rev tried his absolute best, the pack had no synergy for a beluga sturgeon quest. It would not be the star today, it would be in support, for the pack was made for strawberries and Rev could not abort. By turn 6, the sturgeon grew impatient, resentful. Turn 1 tier 2s were never this non-eventful. Why did you take me? The sturgeon asked, appalled. If I can't star in this run, I'd rather not be involved at all. Now Rev sat confused. Only 5 wins left. A team full of stats, and no soul he would not accept. But what is the fix? The Sturgeon can't take the lead. How can you star a support unit and wish to succeed? By the turn 10 battle, both parties were a mess. Rev sat confused. The Sturgeon sat upset. The team became complete on turn 11. A sniper's delight but a 4th position Sturgeon just didn't feel right. As victory approached, the Sturgeon stood tall. I have the solution! I'll be a star after all! Play me at the front! Let me take the lead! My summons will go flying, but it's the compromise we need. Rev obliged. The damn fish was right. He could be a star. He could lead our fight. And lead he did. Dominantly, in fact. And Rev learned an important lesson through this act. Any unit can star. Any unit can lead the way. Be it meta, non-meta, man or fish. Anybody can be king for a day.